Yes, yes, guys, this is Nilly Lance bringing back another gameplay for today. And this time, guys, as you can see, we are playing on Momentum on Solar. But we're not going to be talking about this gameplay at all. What we're going to be talking about is my new series. And what it is, basically, is we are going to go back through all the previous Call of Duty titles one by one. Firstly, looking at the assault rifles. And I want you to choose which one that you would take with you to Black Ops 3. Okay, so whatever one it is. Leave that in the comment section below. Contact me on Twitter and we will choose the most favourite one out of the lot. Now, obviously, the previous title was the dreaded Call of Duty Ghost. Dreaded or not, whether it's loved, whether it's hated, what not else, it added its assault rifles as well. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start with that one. I'm going to give you a little rundown, a little reminder of which guns were actually in it. I think, personally, it's going to come down to two, maybe three, but I've got a feeling there's... A there's going to be an outright winner on this one, pretty much. Okay, let's start off with the SC2010. Now, this one was pretty good. It was better for long range, and it had, like, reduced re recoil, sorry, for the higher accuracy. But it wasn't that widely used, I didn't think. I mean, I did use it a little bit, but it wasn't the popular gun. So I'm not feeling that that one's going to be there, but that could be your choice. Now, the SA805. Now, this was your basically your all-round weapon. You know, it wasn't crazy in damage or recoil. It was just versatile all the way around. It was a pretty strong gun. I did not mind this weapon at all. Then we're going on to the AK-12. Now, this is one of the more popular ones. Now, this had increased damage and less recoil. Now, a lot of people put the old silence on this, and they had a lot of fun with it. I quite enjoyed it. I didn't use it all that much, but I think that was quite a good gun. Now, also, is the FAD. Now, this is one with the highest rate of fire. And it did have moderate recoil. It was a pretty good gun. It wasn't too bad. I personally didn't like it compared to a lot of the other guns. So it wasn't one of my particular favourites. Now, one of this one coming to the top. Got to be near the top is the Remington. Now, this one was very, very widely used. A lot of people turn to this gun all the time. Had a high damage output, reduced fire rate. It was really, really good. It was a dominant weapon, and it was one of the most popular guns. Moving on then to the MSBS. Now, the three-burst gun. This was brilliant. I absolutely love burst guns. Don't particularly like it in this because you're jumping around everywhere, but I found that that one worked really, really well. It was a good gun. Moving on then to the Honey Badger. Now, this is definitely, for me, probably going to be the favorite one. I think it's going to be between this and the Remington. But the Honey Badger was brilliant. Integrated silencer. It was fantastic all round. Obviously, the Ghost, you didn't have much damage or anything else like that. And it seemed a bit of a melting machine. And people loved, loved running around with this all the time. Moving on then to the ARX. Now, this one had the uh, uh, laser sight, sorry, all built in for increased hip fire accuracy. It wasn't really that widely used. I didn't mind it. It came in a nice, beautiful white in that lot. But wasn't my particular favorite i've got to be honest so what i'm going to do guys is like i say going to leave this one to you which one is going to be now for me personally if i had to choose one i'm going to go for the remington i know a lot of people here are going to go no honey badger maybe a few people for the msbs but i'm going to stick with the remington i really enjoyed that gun but like i say leave it in the comment section below contact me on twitter we'll stick that to a poll and we'll find out which one was the most favorite gun but coming up on my screen now guys is going to be my subscribe button please click on that so you can come back and check some more results and follow this series along and also if you could drop a like on this video and support my channel it'd be absolutely amazing anyway guys this is going to be nearly last along catch you later